Hi everyone, my name is Jason Carrolls and I'm a school liaison officer from the police. Um, and I'm going to talk to you today about online safety. So one of the most common things that people ask me is, do you think the internet is a good thing? And I say yes, there's so many positive things that we use the internet for. Um, obviously, you know, over the last year we've used it for to, to stay in touch with our um, family and our friends using video call like Zoom and WhatsApp and um, FaceTime. So it's been really, really useful to stay in touch with people and really critical actually, um, so, so we can stay in, in touch with our loved ones. We, we use it to do our shopping. Um, you know, we just go online, one click, um, and then what you want is delivered to you practically the next day. You don't even need to leave your house. Um, and, and that stuff is delivered to your door. Um, we, we can watch videos, we can watch Netflix, obviously cinemas have been closed so it's been really important that we can uh, um, get entertainment straight into our living rooms and um, obviously you know, the internet is, um, is a really critical part of that. Um, it's a good thing, you know, there, there are those good things but there's also negatives to the internet as well and some things that might catch you out. Um, when we talk about sharing things online and sharing videos and posts and what you post online, it's really important you think about what you send and what you post. Um, I like to think that before you send something or before you post it, would you be happy to see it on a t-shirt and everybody around you having that on their t-shirt or up on a billboard for everyone to see? Because as soon as you do send it, you lose control and you can't get it back and everyone's seen it and we talk about that digital footprint that you leave behind every time you do something online make that a positive digital footprint and not a negative one because that footprint will stay with you for the rest of your life so another, another question I get asked a lot is the age limits on uh, or what's the age limits on social media and some apps so if you look at the slide you'll see there's some apps there um, and all you need to do is just uh, give you a few minutes, just go through those apps and decide what you think the age restriction is on them. So here, here's another activity for you. I want you to think about who you talk to online, perhaps when you're playing games. Do you really know who you're talking to and what information you share with them as well? Should you be sharing that information? So I want you to have a look through those pictures and just see if you can work out from what it says there on the slide who Billy might be and give you the answer in the next slide. So um, another question that I get asked commonly is um, how can I keep my personal information safe? So when we talk about personal information that's information that uniquely identifies you um, and it's really important we think about what that might be um, and how we can keep it safe and stop it from falling into the wrong hands. So personal information might be your address, your date of birth, even your school. So if you're creating um, pictures and you're posting pictures online, if you're, if you're in your school uniform then you're sharing personal information. Passwords as well, that would be personal information. So I want you to have a, a look at the list on this slide and decide who, who do you think should have access to your password? And you've got a couple of minutes to do that activity and then we'll give you the answer at the end. So here's the answers to those activities. So the first one is the social media activity. These are all the ages that are set and, and they're generally set by the social media companies themselves um, because they don't want you to see inappropriate content um, and that's why those age restrictions are on there for that reason. Uh, the second one was who is Billy? Well actually Billy could be anyone um, unless we're actually face to face with someone we don't really know who we're talking to do we so it's really important we think about that when we're online and, and when we're chatting to people perhaps when we're gaming or when we're in chat rooms. Um, the third one was passwords so the only people that should know your passwords are your parents um, and then your school teachers as well if it's your school account. So thank you for listening and I'll see you later.